In this video, I want to talk about three really, really important formulas that are used in calculus. So the first one is a formula for the derivative of a to the x. So if you take the derivative of a to the x, this is simply a to the x natural log of a. That's the formula. Okay, so it's a to the x natural log of a. Let's do a simple example right away so you see how it works. Say we had to take the derivative of 3 to the x with respect to x. So in this case, all you do is you write 3 to the x, and then you put the natural log of 3 here. That's it. So this is the first formula. Notice uh, e to the x, which is one you're probably familiar with if you're watching this video, we know that if we take the derivative of e to the x, we simply get e to the x. So here, using this formula, it would be e to the x, natural log of e. Ah, but the natural log of e is 1. So this is just e to the x times 1, so it's e to the x. So e to the x is that all-important function who is its own derivative, right? Uh, it's the only non-zero function in the entire world where if you take the derivative of e to the x, you get e to the x. So the rate of change is equal to the height of the graph. It's pretty deep. So that's the first formula, pretty simple. The second formula is if you're integrating a to the x. So if you integrate a to the x with respect to x. So notice when you differentiate, you're dividing. So when you uh, when you're multiplying. So when you integrate, then you'll divide. So this will be a to the x over ln a plus c. So when you differentiate, you multiply. When you integrate, you divide. Pretty easy to memorize. Here's an example. Say we have 4 to the x dx. So in this case, it'll just be 4 to the x. And then you just divide by the natural log of 4, and you put a plus c. So really, really useful formulas, right? So when you're differentiating, you multiply by the natural log. Uh, when you're integrating, you divide by the natural log. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.